What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. And, and we're back, back like we, we never left. left. We appreciate y'all for pulling up, tuning back in. We hope you guys had a great weekend. Also had a great Easter as well, if you celebrate. And uh, today, we're about to be jumping right back into The Sopranos. I can't wait for this one. Uh, so, episode three is titled Fortunate Son. Okay. Yeah. I wonder what that's all about. It's been a couple days since we last watched The Sopranos, y'all. Actually, since the, over the weekend because BJ had a birthday. <laughs> oh, y'all. And we celebrated. We ce we celebrated like it was 1999. <laughs> I feel like we partied that night like it was 1999. Yeah, y'all. If you guys have a chance to uh, go over onto our movie channel and y'all can check out that live if it's still up uh, for my birthday. And y'all, we partied like it was 1999. Yeah. Yeah, you it know? was a great time, y'all. Yeah, so. Absolutely. Okay. Beautiful. Well, we're just going to go ahead and jump right back into yes. it, y'all. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, smash the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. Y'all can tap into the Patreon, check out all of our unedited and uncut videos, as well as all of our TV series, behind the scenes footage, Patreon polls, all that good stuff, y'all. It's a great time. So other than that, you ready? I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. <laughs> Come on, Chrissy, don't answer it. Have to, it's football season. Paulie, what's up? I was making cheese dogs for you. Why, what's going on? Okay. <laughs> you look like me. <laughs> I was making cheese dogs for you. Chili cheese dogs. Adriana, I think this could be it. He told me to look sharp and meet him at Models in half an hour. Oh my God. <laughs> Christopher? I can't believe it. You're giving notice today. You wish. What, what are you getting ready for? I don't know. He got a shade. The wife of a maid guy doesn't host this. I'm so proud of you. So he about, to, he about to become a maid man? That's what it sound like. What? I don't know. You getting called like this and going off all happy. I'm worried, that's all. You've seen too many movies. Sitting outside with the Benzo. Sitting on Lorenzo's. <laughs> I don't care. Though. They sharp, ain't they? Yeah, they are. Where are we going, so? We're going to an undisclosed location. <clears throat> well, this is it. All right. <laughs> he sat on one ass cheek the whole way over. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started. Come on. What's happening? I think they're finna have one of these uh, royal ceremonies. I mean, you know why we're here. So if you got any doubts or reservations, now is the time to say so. No one will think any less of you. Because once you enter this family, there's no getting out. Hmm. All right. Give me your hand. Wait. Wait. Uh oh, they're finna make it official. I'm not doing that. <laughs> it's part of it. We can't just like have a drink or something. Nah, it's blood in, blood out. Look at this black the hawk crow. crow. <laughs> I repeat after me. May I burn in hell? May, May I, I burn, burn in, in hell? hell? I betray my friends. If, if I, I betray, betray my, my friends. friends. <laughs> Look how he looking. <laughs> Why that black bird outside? Look, it's gone. It's official. Christopher, it's official. My fucking heart's still pounding. You've been doing really good this year with the sports. <laughs> yeah, it's been good. I'm going to give it to you, my boy. It's yours. I was wondering what it was going to be. You're a made guy now. It's mm. your turn to make some real money, and I get to relax a little. See, he made now. You give me 10 points of your take every settle up day. Other than that, you got no problem. And on what goes this thing of ours. This thing of ours. There's a 6G minimum every week. That could be a lot or a little. Depends on you and how much you grow the business. I love you, Paulie. We're in it together now. Anything on the riverfront Esplanade project in Newark? My guy in the state assembly, he says the matching funds are this close. So, you feeling okay? Oh, you're gonna buy my mother. I mean, what are you gonna do? I might need spells. They're not spells. How do you know about that the fuck over there in New York? Everybody knows. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Julius Caesar was an epileptic. I'm an epileptic. <laughs> Is the psychiatrist helping? Oh, you know about that too. So what? There's no stigmata these days. 
Our family's been doing our Jersey business a long time with the Sopranos. And I want to keep it like that. Take care of this for me. All right, come on. Be a better friend to yourself. I will. See, to get invited to one of them events, like you gotta be like 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 one of the one of the chosen few, basically. So that's what's up. <laughs> Some young kids. They wanted to know when you were coming home. How'd he sound? Like he was about 15 years old. He's 19, actually, and uh, he can go all night. <laughs> 19? Oh, he got him a new car. I know, pull up in a Range Rover with the sunroof. Let me come around. Congratulations. See the kind of respect you get once you kind of get bumped up to a made man? Yeah. Take away Tony Soprano, he's a zero with shoes. Well, he's wearing a stripe now. My Uncle Richie was gonna- Yeah, but he See? never did. Everybody know now. He said, yeah, but he never did. Don't talk about your Uncle Richie, he's, he's nobody. <laughs> <laughs> so Jackie, how's Rutgers? I'm dropping out. Come on, Bula Bula. We're just talking about our former alma mater. They got the coffee house. It's a pure cash operation. What do you tell him about that? That's ours. Watch where the fuck you go. Hey! Don't disrespect the pizza parlor. I know where you live. You hear what I said? That's definitely Richie's nephew. He definitely got the hot head. I sound like an asshole, but I really can't be seen in a place like this anymore. Wonder why he was looking at Christopher like that. Why else? He mad. He big mad. <laughs> About these panic attacks. Enough fucking around. Enough money in your pocket. What's the story here? Medication to treat the depression, psychotherapy, and cognitive behavioral therapy. If you feel you're ready, you could see a behaviorist. What, what do you mean? Talk to somebody else? If you're really ready to commit to mental health, let's get going. I'm ready to help. But we'll have to delve deeper, focus this latest incident for starters. All right. Fine. My daughter brought home a black. They were on a couch watching TV. Snuggling. A black. <laughs> Frank conversation with Buckwheat. He <laughs> got Buckwheat. And then you had the attack. No, no, not right then. I, uh, I saw a box of Uncle Ben's rice. Uncle Ben's. <laughs> the first onset of hyperventilation that occurred upon seeing the rice? No, no, I was uh, taking the gabagool and shit out of the fridge. The panic attack with ducks? As I remember it, you were grilling meat, weren't you? Steaks, yep. Let's get back to that gabagool. The connection between your anxiety attacks and meat. I'm after the taste is waiting for the meat. Did Jackie Jr. show yet? I don't know. A little fuck. Promise his mother he'd be here. What's your language in front of my kid? What's Jackie Jr. doing hanging out with that mutadel? I promise his old man I try to keep him out of this shit. He's the heir apparent. <sighs> I'm safe to this kid. That's because I'm in love with mom. <laughs> Cheerleaders, any hotties, huh? There's no cheerleaders for freshman ball. What's wrong with AJ? <laughs> He's a teenager. <laughs> that, that's the best. <laughs> the mood swings. Teenage boy. Meadow, hi, babe. What are you doing? Nothing. You want to talk to your father? He's outside. Burning a cross. Well, I'm not sure I know what you're driving at, but I know that now is not the proper time. Here, your brother wants to talk to you. No, I don't. Oh. The sibling love. Jackie, where are you? I can't make it. You promised. That's his mama. Fuck it. <clears throat> oh. What's up with him, though? That's, that's, uh. Um, Who's the one that was in the pizza parlor? Richie's nephew, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. You know what? I'll bring it up to Tony. Maybe he'll sit him down for a heart to heart. Yeah, somebody needs to talk to him. That's almost all of it. Warren probably told you about Oregon, USC. This is unacceptable. I'm not running a school here, kid. Paulie, this is me. You know I'm good for it. This isn't about that. I'm gonna give you a couple extra days. But it's gonna cost you another two G's as a reminder not to fuck it up. It's just his first week. <laughs> <laughs> He's still like, no, 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 no. Okay. You short. You already know how this goes. The envelope is short. What time is it? I'm here, Rona. Oh, he just too cool. He got to show up with the glass, the leather and he still jacket. Got, and he still got them on, inside. Who's the glasses? I'm gonna say a few things. I'm gonna say some bad words. And you're just gonna have to deal with it. Oh, uh, okay. You're thinking I clipped your uncle, but I didn't. 
And I got some bad news for you. Your uncle was a rat. No fucking way. Sit down. Sit the fuck down. Man, you better sit down. You think I'm the only one that knows this about Richie? This hurt all of us. Hey, how you looking at him? Jesus Christ. Your dad and me, you know how close we were? He never wanted this for you. And I'll tell you something. I don't want it for my son either. <laughs> you gotta get him a reality check. Oh, he got the... Uh, oh, look at look. He on the football team. He on the freshman team. They don't have cheerleaders either. Patillo in for Posado. Hey, Patillo played already. Put my kid in. <laughs> Look at the guy they turned around. <laughs> oh, be like them little league games we be at. Look, Anthony's going in. Okay, defense, 41 stack. AJ! Take him, baby! Uh-oh, I don't know. Is AJ ready? Is he, is he equipped? <laughs> Did he get the... He got the ball. Oh, it looks like his helmet is halfway on. Look. <laughs> that looked like somebody parent too. <laughs> yeah. That's how, that's how I be. You got the ball. <laughs> hey, hey, it's my son. How was everybody's day today? Busy. <laughs> so, Nana was asking me today where you might want to go to college. West Point. West Point? Yeah, that's what you said. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. I could never get in. He looking at her like, say something. <laughs> didn't he say that? <laughs> Ain't that how you looking? Yeah, he looking at her like, tell him that he can. <laughs> I need you to piggyback behind me. Yeah. Mom there? Hey, how are you? Is Mom there? <laughs> yeah, she's here. Oh. She's still Is mad at him. Can I talk? Yeah, you can have her. <laughs> wow. She's still mad about yeah. how he was talking to Noah and stuff. Is mom there? I feel bad taking your old room. Ah, oh, don't worry about it. You're all settled in there. Won't be for long. Bill's children going to live with their mother. End of week. Glad I can help you out. Janice, I cannot give records back. I know Livia left no will, but position is nine-tenths of law. Let's not descend into that. Just promise me you'll sleep on it. I ain't giving them back. No, she, she definitely not. She's not gonna get those records back to her. <laughs> it was that bird. It was that fucking bird in the window. It was a coincidence. The bird thing is if it's in the house, flapping around. It's that fucking tennis brace that I got you. Why don't you get rid of that stupid Range Rover, which you shouldn't have even bought if you couldn't afford it? I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, he like man. I got, I got to get Paulie this money. Hey, take the Range Rover back. Right. Get your down payment back. I don't know. <laughs> it's not starting out too well. For yeah, he's right he, he trying to blame. He's trying to blame all the bad luck on that bird that he saw outside the window. Cause business should be booming right now. Cause college football going, all the sports betting. Oh, her she leg. took a leg. <laughs> what a how dirty is that, yo? <laughs> oh, that's messed up. You owe me three hundred bucks. I ain't using. I got one hundred left. I want my money. How much did he owe him? He probably only, only owed him probably a couple hundred bucks. I don't know, but the, he didn't take the three hundred dollars. <laughs> okay, that, that's going towards the four at this point. <laughs> right. Got his call yet? No. Now Hello, Tony, Tony came over there. How have you been? What is she doing here? She brings old leg. Piece of shit made in Russia. I'm getting married. Did you know? You told me. Hey, look, I'm sorry about your leg. I'll reach Janice. Where the hell Janice is at? Look, that must be his favorite. You know, it gotta be one of his favorites. <laughs> yeah, or the prosciutto or whatever. Because he always goes for that one. <laughs> uh oh, the meat. Oh, I was about to say, I thought he was about to have another panic attack. Talk about good timing. I was just going to call you, Johnny. Oh, yeah? Uh oh. Look how he's looking back. 
Anthony, I told you to wait in the car. Oh, that must be like his dad. Yeah, Johnny. Because he said something about Junior. Mm-hmm. That's a young Tony right there. Yeah. Oh. Weasley, son of a bitch. Oh! You know you make? I swear, I got a vendor owes me 300. Shut the fuck up! Oh! Junior, get away. Oh, we got him by the headlock. Oh, oh. oh we better take a pinky. It might get. The, oh, that's the ring finger. Anthony, what I fucking tell you? <laughs> what, your father never cut off anybody's pinky? That's traumatic for anyone to witness. Actually, it wasn't. It was a rush, if you want to know the truth. <laughs> wow. There's something wrong with you. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> tell me more. How crazy are you really? Man. That's why I said his daddy was deep into it. it like he was born into this life. Dinner's ready. Come here. Come on, I want to talk to you. Uh-oh, you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you like chopping people's hands off. Pinky fingers and stuff. What I gotta say, a lot of boys your age would have run like a little girl. But you stayed. The man is a gambler. Mm. Never gamble, Anthony. Johnny, dinner's ready. See? A, a great father to son, heart to heart. Beautiful cut he sent. You like it standing with the bone in, Holly? That's supposed to be Janice. Take all me. Another little sister. I want to lose him. <laughs> <laughs> the lady loves her meat. Look, you see? It's almost uh -oh. freaking him out. Oh, his head hit the end table. His head hit the end. Four oh. Stitches. We're on dinner. This was your first panic attack? Obviously, we finally touched on something here. Where the meat came from and your mother's great pleasure in it. What was the only time you could count on her being in a good mood? Probably the only time the old man got laid. Probably. Pretty sick, huh? <laughs> Getting turned on by free cold cuts. Wow. I don't even want to fucking think about any of this shit. I'm sure it was too much for you then, too. Yeah, his first panic attack. Yeah. Witnessing not only your mother and father's sexuality, but also the violence and blood so closely connected to the food you were about to eat. Right. Getting his finger chopped off. The thought that someday... You might be called upon to bring home the bacon, like your father. All this from a slice of gabagool. Gabagool. Marcel Proust wrote a seven-volume classic, Remembrance of Things Past. He took a bite of a madeleine. It's a kind of a tea cookie he used to have when he was a child. And that one bite unleashed a tide of memories of his childhood. This sounds very gay. <laughs> 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 That's interesting. That makes a lot of sense, yeah. though. Because what he saw that day, mm -hmm. being such a young kid. You see? I thought the tailback had it. You got to keep your eye on the ball, AJ. The ball. That's what it's all about. They probably would traumatize any kid. Chicken shit, cocksuckers. Go for the touchdown. I need another fucking five points to cover the spread. Man, college football is booming right now. We're here. Mm-mm. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Dad didn't come? No, he didn't. Did you want him to? She did. Of course she did. Oh, what'd Dad say? Anthony, would you go downstairs and wait for me? I would like to talk to your sister. Oh, I know what he said. Go. <laughs> <laughs> That's just like a brother. <laughs> what did your father say? He called Noah things that are so disgusting and ugly, I can't even repeat it. It's lucky I didn't punch his fucking lights out. The rest of the world should work around his racist, <clears throat> retrograde, fucking asshole personality. Oh, oh wow, wow, now, wow. Would you excuse us a moment? I would like a word with my daughter. I'm not going anywhere unless she wants me to. Oh. Oh. Oh, Noah, Noah. You pushing buttons. Okay. Okay, <laughs> at this gonna, point. They're going to do it right in front of him. You're being disrespectful to my mama. <laughs> I mean, he's just holding his ground. That's it. Perhaps that. 
I'm going to keep my mouth shut because I know that anything I say to you or your father will just fuel this. I'm going to Litchfield, Connecticut. Some friends of Noah's parents who work at NBC. Well, that wasn't a good visit. Mm -mm. I don't think it was a good visit. Goodness gracious. At all. Definitely didn't go the way that she she planned it to go out. I'm glad, I'm glad Tony didn't show up. Noah said he was going to punch Tony lights out. <laughs> Do you think that would have happened? Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully Carmela don't tell him that. Right. I didn't think you would have the nerve to show your face. What happened? What's wrong? Don't give me bullshit. Where is my leg? Oh, yeah. Where's your... I know you took it. <laughs> That's preposterous. I don't know how you can live with yourself. Bill, don't waste breath. This cunt is going to be sorry she ever <laughs> fuck with me. <laughs> Dang. Oh, man. Janice, Janice, she's she's such a shrewd operator. Well, she wants it back too. That leg was twenty thousand dollars. Them prosthetic legs cost a lot. He mentioned that job over at Rutgers. Shh. We were gonna jack a benefit concert out there. You know the details? You make it work with Ardino? It was my fucking idea. You know this must be hard for you, Anthony. You here at home all by yourself with us. But it won't be for long. Before you know it, you'll be heading off to college yourself. I don't think I'm gonna go. What, college? Of course you will. Uh, there's so many people there. They're all smarter than me. You're not excused. He's all right. <laughs> Watch the way. Sometimes I've been needing Tony to say something. <laughs> Under no show. circumstances move this car. Your life will not be worth shit. So where they? So now they up there at Rutgers. Oh, look at the screen, man. Oh, no one gets shot. Oh, my God. No way. Oh, they really... They really sticking them up. You're robbing oh, look. a benefit concert. You know that. Is that all there is? I'll fucking blow your head off. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. It's a cop behind him. It's a cop behind him. Shut up. You say one word on that fucking thing and you're dead. Oh, he shot at him. Oh. You better not move that car. If you gotta pee on yourself, pee on yourself. Hit it! Oh, he gonna be pissed because the other dude starts shooting. Dang, they robbed the benefit concert <laughs> <laughs> at the college. Can't get any worse than that. I bet this Polly. There's your money. That should be what, 4,000? No, it should be 10. What's the matter, Chrissy? Tell Uncle Paul. This being made ain't working out the way I thought it would. Welcome to the NFL, rookie. Go home, get some sleep. Tomorrow's a new day. Hmm. This last week, he been running like a chicken with his head cut off. God, I feel like a, that would stress me out. Oh, yes, absolutely. Oh, I don't want this job. <laughs> Forget this promotion. Well, you can't renege. <laughs> we had a very good week this week, boss. How's our little friend doing? He had a few knocks, but it came out all right in the end. He had Augment this kick this week with a stick-up out at Rutgers. Little Jackie put him on. I specifically told Christopher to leave the kid the fuck out. Just mm. telling you what I know. Look. Mm-mm. That's not going to go over very well. <laughs> now he called him Christopher. Christopher like, man, I'm done right now. Just leave me alone for the day. What's <laughs> wrong with the kid? When's he going to grow up? He having a hard time. <laughs> Don't be too hard on Chrissy. Take a good look at Soprano here and remember his performance on the field last week. But does his mind go soft? No. When the call came, he brought his A game. And that's why I'm naming him defensive captain. Yes. <laughs> all right, all right. That's a big deal. Let's hit those showers one thought in Mott. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Reasonably brought down. <laughs> That freaked him out. <laughs> You're like, oh no. That's the worst thing you could do. And this was his panic attack right here. <laughs> <laughs> he passed out. <laughs> it was too much for him to handle. Right. Hey. <laughs> that's what happens when you the fortunate son. Yeah, right. Same thing with Tony and now with AJ. <laughs> Tom, will you get that? I didn't think he passed out though. Hello. Tony, it's me. Hang up, hang up, please. Right. Look, look. My poor cousin still is not having her prosthetic leg. What the fuck you want me to do? I miss you so much. Can't you come over here? 
Mm-mm. Don't ever call here again. Oh man. Even for the simple fact that she has the house phone number is is, is bad. Why does she even have it? I took you back. You think the synergy escapes me? You start treating him, we start seeing each other again. He had a real breakthrough last week. Yeah, <laughs> breakthrough what? Somebody's jaw? You're right. I'm wasting my time. You know, he's an expert at this, Jen. The guy's conning you. Condescend to me, Richard. It gets me so hot. <laughs> no, she's sitting down again. Is that no? Looks good. Remember last week? I asked you to write down memories of past anxiety attacks. How do people find the time? <laughs> to get well? Are you happy? Am I happy? Look, I'm sorry I didn't bring the list. <sighs> we ought to think about bringing your wife into this. Mm. Carmela, that's not in the future. Shit happens in my daily life that needs attention now. By my son. He shies away from anything that requires effort. And I think maybe he picks that up from me. But she indulges. Richard was right. I've been charmed by a sociopath. Mm. I know Richard's right. I should get Tony Soprano. Mm. Oh, shit. See? I always thought it was that other guy. Oh, no, nope, I can't nope. believe I revealed his name. Why did you? <gasps> she got Tony Soprano on the brain. Now you've medicated Soprano properly. It's it's time to send him on to a behaviorist. See, I see why it's difficult for her to go ahead and just pass him on and mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Now here she go. What is she doing with this thing? Looking for gold. Is she in the basement of a mama house? <laughs> yes. Uh, what would she be looking for? Buried treasure or what? Don't mess with the Russians, Janice. That's all I'm gonna say. She can <laughs> have her leg back when she returns Ma's record collection. Don't fuck with me on this, Janice. Get back the leg. Those records are yours, too. It's sad that you don't care. The World War II generation and their music are exemplified by Ma. Who the fuck are you kidding? You're gonna sell them on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Put it up the Good luck finding the Lost Dutchman's gold mine, Janice. Like the minute I'm out of here, you're not gonna have contractors downstairs tearing apart the walls. Oh, Janice. Wow. Well, well, he's right about what she's doing. That's exactly what she's doing, too. That's exactly what she's doing. She petty. I'll try to tell you, Janice is petty. Yeah. <laughs> she she probably not even gonna she probably don't really want the records. No. She just wanna sell them like he said. Yeah. Mind if I make a stop first. My brother in law's out of town. You said you knew. No, well, nobody talked to me. You're collecting on my fucking roots. You gotta pay me a use fee. Hey! I had a stick of shish kebab up your ass. Mm -hmm. Why do you provoke me, huh? This young buck. I'll fuck your wife until she moans. <laughs> Fucking what? Uh oh. You bring my wife into this? Oh. Uh, put it down. Uh -huh. Hey, mister. Hey. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, oh. There I go. <laughs> Fucking asshole. In the bed basket. Oh. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> That's why. He ain't got nothing in there. 200 bucks. Let's go, kid. Look out here looking. He's like, oh, that, this is what I got to do to earn some money? Who house is this? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I'm a mess here with the moving. Come in. I'll get John. John! John, get down here. You got company. Look at her hair. Look who's here. The guinea welcome wagon. This is for you, you piece of shit. I didn't know you were moving to Jersey. Eh, Jenny wanted to be uh, near her sisters. Well, why didn't you tell me you were moving here? What the fuck do you care? What are you working in the toll booth now? <laughs> you should have fucking told me. Oh, uh. I'm telling you now. Uh, this is strictly a place for me to live. Maybe you can help me unstick this rain bird. It's raining, it's raining and down here. You don't like Look that. Look at him looking there. He don't like that. I wonder why, though. It sounds like it's like he's moving into a different territory. Mm. Like, why would you move so far? And not say nothing. Right. Why would you take Jackie's kid or something like that? Somebody's got to show him how the real world works. I got some news you're not going to like. I'm putting a friend in over this. It's Captain. What? No. No. Yeah, he don't like that. 
You got some bad tendencies, Ralphie, and I sympathize, because I got them too. It's just business. I think you're ready to move on to behavior modification therapy. What's that mean? Talk to somebody else? You know, you're fucking unbelievable. When it gets hard, you pawn me off on somebody else. I'm just introducing the idea. Yes, Richard, he was here earlier today. <sighs> Listen, I told you I would discharge him, and I will. I'm going into the garage. I'm going to lose you. I'll see you later. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Look how dark it is in there. I know. Who was that that, that, that she just walked by? I um, saw some... <laughs> Shut up. Oh. Don't turn around. <laughs> no way. Oh. oh! Yo, 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 yo! Stop it! I'm gonna fuck you, bitch! No! No way! Wow. Damn. Oh, for God's sake, Jess. Shit. Richard. You're all right. You're going to be all right. They tell you that they, they caught him? Son of a bitch. Man. Who is he? Jesus Rossi. Rossi. It's an Italian name. Mom. Jason. It's OK. I'm going to be all right. I can't believe this shit. I'm going to kill these motherfuckers. Okay. You know, the whole world is a fucking sore. Right. It's a bunch of animals out there running wild. Jason, please, I caught the man that did it. It's OK. Yeah, I want five minutes with that asshole. Jason, this isn't helping. Why don't you go outside and settle down? I'll be right out. Man. I couldn't imagine. I know. This is uh, Jennifer Melfi. I need to cancel Tuesday's appointment. Oh, I'll be so disappointed. Nothing serious, I hope. A little car accident. My knee got the worst of it, but I'll be up in a couple of days. You stay off of it and you take care. Who ate the last piece of cake? Thank you, I will. That was your therapist. She was in a car accident. She has to cancel your next appointment. She all right? She said she was OK. She hurt her knee. Her knee? Really? Any knee injury can be very serious. That's Joe Naiman. No, thanks. He said, ask Joe Namath. <laughs> she mentioned that maybe you would come into my therapy. Sure. Not now. She's sick. I think Carmela should go to some of those uh, therapy so sessions, too. too. Yeah. yeah. Probably would be good for her. Oh, man. Look at her face. I know. It looks so bad. <sighs> Lee. I know. Hello. Hi, Detective Pearsall. I'm calling for Jennifer Melfi, the rape. What? Why not? What's going on? Well, why? I mean, that's absurd. That's ridiculous. Richard, what happened? So you just let him go? Are you fucking crazy? They let him go? What now? They mishandled the chain of custody, so they had to let him go. What? That can't be right. It can't be. I don't understand what's going on, but I can identify him. I don't know what to say. I'm stunned. They, uh, they had to let him go. Wow. Deserted parking garages are where a huge percentage of these attacks happen. You blame me for what happened, don't you? Well, how many times did I tell you to call the security guard when you left work late? It wasn't late. You should have seen your face when you heard that that fucking shitbag that raped me had an Italian name. Well, I registered surprise. Are you so ashamed of your background that any misdeed by an Italian somehow damages your self-esteem? Or maybe you don't have enough. Oh, Jennifer. Man. Hey, I think he been way too insensitive. He not being sensitive enough to her. Me? I don't I, Right. I you, agree. Because you, you did see him look a little different when they said it was like an Italian name. Anyway, he played it like it was his idea to make me captain of the April crew. Most of the conversation was about Johnny Sack moving to Jersey. Yeah, Jenny Sack told Gabriella she needed a bigger house. Jenny Sack Ramoni. What she needs is her own zip code. <laughs> <laughs> Jersey's a small state. She moves in. She could tip it over. <laughs> <laughs> She's so fat, her blood type is red goo. <laughs> What? <laughs> Two guys can fuck her at the same time and still never meet. Right. <laughs> oh, Johnny. <laughs> fuck who? 
What? What's so funny? <laughs> Nothing. We're just talking about one of the girls. Is that all you deadbeats do over here? Is talk about coos? Well, we're not planting potatoes. Talk about coos. <laughs> they loving it. Say, Richard. Ben, can I come in? I'm sorry. I feel like she gonna tell Tony. I think she should. I think she should too. Find that creep. Uh oh. He got four oh. units. I asked you to watch out for Jackie Jr. I specifically said, don't let the kid get involved in this thing. He only drove. I said I was sorry. Let me tell you something, T. He was an asset. Pissed on the car seats, but he handled himself very good. <laughs> Leave him out of it. Fucking kid begged me for a taste. He's the heir apparent. I don't want him mixed up in this shit. Oh, the life's good enough for me, but not for little Lord Fuckpants? He's not like you, like us. I gotta go make a stop in nothing. I love you. You're a good boy. Well, you was holding your breath? Yes. <laughs> oh, Lord fuck pants. He said Lord. Whose moniker is that? I'm not sure it is a moniker. Oh, y'all gonna be looking all day trying to figure out who that is. Look at this. Why is she walking in there by herself? By herself. Same freaking stairwell, too. I feel like that would give me a that would give me a panic attack. P at PTSD at its all time highest. Look, look. Oh, Tony's about to see her. Jesus. What's your other guy look like? Jesus Christ, there must have been some accident. Well, it's just one of those things. I know a woman with one leg. Terrible thing. Last time we met, we talked about getting you into some behavioral therapy. Feel the fear and do it anyway. You gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> it's okay. It's just your, uh... It's okay. Sorry. <sighs> she about jumped up out that chair. She literally did. Maybe you came back to work too soon. It's better for me to be busy. Look at her face. I don't like seeing her face like that. I don't either. I was wondering who's E24 sitting in the driveway. What, you got a new car? Yeah. I heard about Ralph Separato, that he got passed over. You heard about why? I mean, the more I get to know him, he's kind of a cool guy, but... It's none of your fucking concern. You told me you were gonna go to college, then I gotta hear from Chris the shit. I'm hearing about you. I'm home. Oh, it's Meadow. Jackie, <clears throat> what are you doing here? I'm waiting for you. What, I don't get a hello? I need $200 for November to put in my student account. <laughs> you don't talk to me for weeks, but my money's still green. I'm looking forward to total independence, believe me. Wait, look, look, look. Oh, oh. The last name too, look. Oh, Rossi. <gasps> she need to get Tony. I put, I put my life on it. She need to call Tony for this one. Better not be the Russian lady coming in there. <laughs> oh, snap. No. Oh, are you kidding me? You give us leg and we go. What <sighs> leg? Don't do this to me. Motherfucker, do you know who I am? Mother what? Motherfucker! <laughs> oh. oh! Oh, she landed right into the guitar. Are you people really so callous? Fuck you, you are callous. Janice, come on, well, man. Well, Tony told her. She, he did tell Don't mess with stop the Stop playing with the Russians. The, or the Russians, yeah, yeah. Stop playing with them. I think Dr. Melford, she needs to talk to Tony. Mm. It is awesome. 
I want the dog to eat him up so bad. <laughs> eat him so Oh my God. The dog. What? Big head, massive shoulders. Who could I sick on that son of a bitch to tear him to shreds? Oh, I know. Oh, oh I do too. No feeling has ever been so sweet as to see that pig beg because the justice system is fucked up, Elliot. That employee of the month cocksucker is back on the street and who's gonna stop him, you? There's not a certain satisfaction in knowing that I could have that asshole squashed like a bug. You can, though. Right? And I want to see it. Oh, man. Look, he's going to say, I told you so. What happened? <laughs> she don't want to talk about it. Because he told her. I told you not to mess with those people. I was supposed to be married at this point in my life. The man I love died. Why's she bringing him up? Thanks, Janice. Huh? What do you mean, what? They slapped my sister over. Huh? Well, I have to get paid back. I stole a woman's prosthetic leg, Tony. When did I get like this? You really want to know? When Richie died. To that time, I was functioning at a very high level. What we do in life echoes in eternity. Mm. Oh, he's fucking obsessed with gladiator. Strength and honor. Scotch <laughs> and soda. As long as you're on the way to the bar. Ball breaker. Uh oh. Today might be the day. I'm hoping so. Come on, Dr. Melvin. Come on, let's, Tell put our, him. let's put our hands together and just hope. Well, she's not using the cane anymore. Yes, yeah, she was not with the cane. And I've been thinking about your behavior therapy idea. Um, Maybe you got a point. You know, I could use some help with a few things, and if they can help me there, you know, I should go there. No. You sure about that? She said no. Because the last couple of times, I've been getting the distinct feeling that you're giving me the boot. Uh. Hey, 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 come on. Come on, huh? What did, what is she, what did he say? She just looking at him. Maybe maybe he look he looking like that Rottweiler again. It's okay, go on. What? You, you wanna say something? <sighs> no. Come on. Oh, Why she tell my him? Gosh. I feel like if she tells him she, she knows what he's gonna do. Like, Asia. I feel like she just knows, like she already knows, like what he, how he's gonna react to something like that. Like if, 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 if she finds, out, like if he finds out, like what happened to her, like especially being that Tony has had like the dreams about her that he has, like he's thought about her the way that he has, and and I feel like even to say all of that, like he really does genuinely like like her, mm -hmm. like care for her in a sense that he wouldn't want anything bad to happen to her, especially if he sent her off to protect her. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, so I know she knows, like, if I tell him he's going to do something about it and then, and then I'm going to be tied into that because it's almost like, you know, if something comes back, that's a conspiracy charge. Like, she basically talked to him about what he did, and then Tony reacted to it and did something to it. Yeah, know? but like I said, you know, he part of the, of the mob, the Italian mob, so I feel like she know if she says something to him about it, he definitely gonna, gonna enforce the situation and, and, make, and make something happen, and she does need to tell him. Just from my own account, and, and, and knowing that she has a patient like Tony Soprano that can, at the snap of a finger, can make something happen and put, and, 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 and inflict pain on somebody else. Yeah. At, at just a at the mention or, or, or the hint of something wrong or somebody did something to you, she know that... I think in the dream, Tony was the Rottweiler that was attacking him. I think so, too. And, and when... She, and when and she doesn't want to tell... Like, she's not going to, like, give him any... You know, because now it seems like all the breakdowns that Tony has had that he's telling her, like, the things that he thinks about, like, Dr. Melfi has had an answer for it. Like, in terms of, like, why he sees what he sees and why the dream was the way it was almost to break it down in, in parts of like analyzing who is who in the dream. Mm -hmm. And like you said, I think, I think she knows too that Tony was the dog. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> they came after him, yeah, the Rottweiler. Because when she was sitting there with her, with her therapist explaining that, mm -hmm. she, I think she had like a, a aha moment. Like, oh, I know who the Rottweiler is because I know who... The Rottweiler wasn't Richard. You know, it, it wasn't Richard at, yeah. at all. Yeah. Because, because she don't see Richard as that type of person anyways, the enforcer or somebody that's generally there that's going to protect her. You know what I mean? Right. So, yeah, I, I just feel like, man, just the way that she was looking at, at Tony, she's like, it's, it's like right on the tip of her tongue because she just wanted to say it. Uh -huh. and, and I feel like Tony kind of might know. And now know, she knows where he is, too. And, and Right. That, that, that That's a big key, too. Yeah, she knows because, where because, to find because him. Because she knows where to find him. So, like I said, all she got to do is just say the word and it's going to happen. I just hate that that happened to her. Like, like, like that's like traumatic. Like, that's way beyond traumatic. It's, 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 it's gross for somebody like to do that and, and to prey on her like that. Like, I, I hate, I hate it to see that scene happen to her in the stairwell I like know. that. You know what I mean? I know. And, and there was something weird about it when she walked by, when she was on the phone and she was walking down the stairwell and she walked by him. Like, I, even I got like a weird feeling about, why is this guy, you know, because he kind of like looked back at her and she wasn't paying attention while she was going to her car. I tell you, that's like like a, a huge, y'all, ladies, okay, be very keen to your environment. Mm -hmm. Like, especially when it's dark outside. Remember I used to get off work late? Mm -hmm. I used to call security to walk me to my car. I did not care. It was in the middle of everything. If the moon is in the sky and the sun is gone I'm not walking by myself I don't care yeah and, <laughs> I'm and, just not and, doing and, that and a lot of people bringing it up about like the stairwells Absolute, dark stairwells oh, the stairwell uh, is the worst after hours walking to your car yes. in the parking garage so I, I hate it I hated that part right there uh, of, of this last of episode 4 I hated Absolutely. seeing that part uh, uh, of that happen to her but but yeah, now you see I think I think she owns the stairwells something. too, y'all. I used to have to stay at hotels all the time, yeah. and I would tell BJ, I'm not, I'm not leaving my room because I have to go downstairs. <laughs> so I would be hungry, y'all. I'm not, I'm not going down. And I'm she, not doing that. And you literally would be on the phone with me the whole time, <laughs> from the time you got out your car to the time that you walked through the stairwell to the time you got to your room. You will call me and be on the phone. I'll be on the phone. For, for good reason too. I'm obviously. not gonna tell y'all how I was walking to the room, but just know. Yeah. <laughs> I was ready, okay? Mm -hmm. But, yeah. And the other part of that, too, I wanted to bring up was when Dr. Melfi really gave him the realization of, like, him having his panic attacks with the meat. That, too, yeah. So, I felt like it had something to do with knowing that they were at that, like, the butcher store where he was chopping off the guy's pinky finger. And then he was getting the free meat at the same time. And I feel like the two of those kind of going through his mind, like... You know, at the same time that he's cutting through the meat, he was cutting off his finger. Right, right, and we're eating this meat at the same time. Like, yeah, just think about how they how they can have a a, a crazy uh, a, a crazy reaction on a child that's like eleven years old that sees something so traumatic like that. And you then know, the meat was like red cutting meat, off a, cutting off a finger. Yeah, at the same time you're in the butcher shop. You know, right. so yeah. Now, now I see that direct correlation to that, like, like how he would quickly have like a panic attack like that. You know what? Because the last time he did that, right before he looked at the at the the the, the rice guy, Uncle Ben, he had pulled out the meat and he started the eating the meat. Yeah, yep, yep, <laughs> he yep, started yep. eating. And and you saw like when he pulled out the meat, it was red. It was red. And he was looking at it, and it just like. It, something just went off, and now you're starting to see that with AJ now, because he just had his first panic attack. Right. When 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 the coach said, "I'm gonna put you as the de the defensive captain," it was like he was like, <gasps> he passed out, and then he passed out. So yeah. now you're starting to see this reoccurring in AJ. So it's like it's a it's a whole thing that's been passed down from from his dad, from Tony's dad to Tony. So now no, AJ. AJ has it too. Yeah, these two episodes right here were like really, really eye opening, and man, I, I just, I just hope something like happens. Like you know, like I said, I don't ever wish anything bad upon anybody, but uh, you reap what you sow at the end of the day. Yep. you know what I mean. Yep. I feel like Dr. Melfi, like... You think she wants, she going to say something? Oh, she going to say something. I don't know when or, or what it is that she going to say, but I feel like she going to come clean about what really happened or some kind of way Tony's going to find out. And he probably won't... It won't be in a way that... I, at least that's this how I feel like it's going to play out. I feel like Dr. Melfi might say something in some kind of way. I don't know. Tony might figure out what really happened. Maybe Dr. Melfi's really going to tell him what really happened, but she won't make mention as, as to who it was. Any of that, but some kind of way Tony's gonna figure it out, and Tony's gonna take care of it, 
and he's not going to bring it up. And Dr. Melfi's going to be like, like waiting for him to tell. <laughs> no, she, she, might, she, she might not be waiting, but if, if she heard in the news, like, like, you know, she might get word of it some kind of way. Yeah. Like, what, you know, he ain't going to have to bring but it up to her. But of course, Sonny's never I mean? going to say anything because... Not because, supposed to. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's how I feel like that's going to probably thing, end up Yeah, my thing, I just, I just hope she mentioned something to him. And, and he, you know, obviously he going to put two and two, two together, together and, yeah. hey, make something happen. But yeah, Tony definitely was that Rottweiler. So sick him, boy. Yeah. Sick him, sick him. Okay. So y'all tap in. Let us know what y'all think about this down in the comment section. I know. I Why know. did it end like that, though? <laughs> but if y'all enjoyed this, be sure you give us a big thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. Smash that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. And if ain't nobody else told you, I love you. And we're going to see y'all in the next video, y'all. Absolutely. Y'all yeah. take it easy. Bye. Peace. <laughs>